Welcome to Black History Monday, the show that takes you on a journey through Black history to expose our contributions, as well as many racial massacres hidden from history. So sit back, free your mind, and follow me on this journey. Lincoln Motion Picture Company. The Lincoln Motion Picture Company was an American film production company founded in 1916 by Noble Johnson and George Johnson. Noble Johnson was president of the company. The secretary was actor Clarence A. Brooks, Dr. James T. Smith was treasurer, and Dudley A. Brooks was the assistant secretary. The company is known as the first producer of race movies, which was what they called movies with black actors and actresses back then. Established in Omaha, Nebraska, the company relocated to Los Angeles the following year. It remained in operation until 1923, closing shortly after announcing a final project, The Heart of a Negro. The major motion picture studios generally ignored African-American audiences in the first two decades of the 20th century. Nonetheless, Demand for films aimed at black theaters in both the South and larger Northern cities prompted the formation of several black, motion picture production companies. In an era where racist minstrel shows were popular amongst white people, it was a considerable step forward to have a theater making movies with black actors and actresses. Just take a look at some of the minstrel shows from that era. You can't count ladies sing this song. Do not, do not. You can't count race back five miles long. Oh, do not. I come down die with my hat caved in. Do da, do da. I go back home with a pocket full of tin. Oh, do da, day. Wind to run all night, wind to run all day. I bet my money on the bop pain act. Somebody bet on the bay. The long take Philly and the big black horse. Do da, do da. They fly the track and they both cut across. Oh, do da, day. The blind horse sticking in a big mud hole. Do da, do da. Can't touch bottom with a ten foot pole. Oh, do da, day. Wind to run all night. substantial archive of racist cartoons that have been removed from television, but many are still available on the internet. Here's an example of one. Of course, I can't play the video due to Warner Brothers copyrights, but you know who this character is. The Lincoln Motion Picture Company in Omaha, Nebraska is considered the first all-black movie production unit in the country. Its entire output was aimed directly at African-American viewers. After relocating to Los Angeles, the company made and distributed five films which were generally limited to special showings 
for African Americans in churches and small assembly halls. The first Lincoln production was a drama called The Realization of a Negro's Ambition in 1916. The second was titled A Trooper of Troop K in 1917, which dealt with the massacre of black troops in the Army's 10th Cavalry during the American operation against Mexican bandits and revolutionaries in 1916. Although the Johnson brothers wanted the films to play to wider audiences, they were mostly booked in select locations and the few colored-only theaters in America. Other films include A Man's Duty in 1919, but it proved to be a minor business operation, and the business model was not a sustainable one. The Lincoln Motion Picture Company began its existence with great expectations. White audiences were needed and simply were not interested at the time. Without a wider audience, the Lincoln Motion Picture Company was doomed to failure, and their last movie, By Right of Birth, proved to be the company's swan song. The Lincoln Motion Picture Company lasted until 1921. Next week Monday, we will continue on this journey as we walk through the doors of history. Make sure you subscribe, like, and share. Click the notification bell so you'll be notified when we upload new videos. Find The Awakening Frequency on Twitter, Instagram, and on Facebook. Research is key. Always do your own research and never just listen to what people tell you. We are The Awakening Frequency. Out of the millions of potential subscribers, we just want to reach one so each one can teach one. Peace.